Matter of fact, though, pterodactyl, when I'm micro and macro, my mind. Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm Jack to be actually naturally high? And I'm that guy with the flashlight, looking back at the track of the black light. How about this? Simple tap, pay attention to wax, you're free to see what that's like. And that's why we need. All right, guys, Ian Anderson and Ben Baker. We're back with some more St. Jude Children's Research Hospital charity classic. I don't know. Did I make that name up? Is that what it's called? <laughs> you didn't <laughs> nail it. <laughs> it's, it's something like that. Uh, we, again, we are super lucky to be joined by the one and only Nate Sexton. Say what's up to the peeps, Nate. Hey, everybody. Excited there, to be here. There he is. And uh, we're kicking off uh, round one, part two. And uh, let's watch the disc golf. Do it. All right. All right, Nate, we're just kicking off on hole 10 as... Usual story is there's some dangerous OB around the basket. Yeah, this one more so than any other hole, actually. This one, you see, uh, nicknamed the Simon Trap. Uh, he called <laughs> it beforehand. Simon would take a seven on the hole, and lo and behold, he did. Did he really? He, yeah, <laughs> not this year, but the previous year. Oh, and the hole good. actually got harder in between. It's wow. like on the little finger of OB. Wow. Uh, but yeah, you see, came up to me and said, oh, this hole's a Simon Trap. Simon's going to get a seven. And then he like came up to me in the golf cart like halfway giddy like simon did get a seven (laughs) (laughs) you're not supposed to do that to your marquee player you're supposed to make him look good right you know he's trying to make him stronger trying to make him smarter that is funny man uc kills me uh two solid safe drives so far uh drew's throwing up a big old hyzer it looks like they're playing smart golf nate they're you like can't go for this no (laughs) i don't know i don't think it's possible you could go to the short side and then nail the putt yeah that's probably the safest putt too yeah, like this is oh, it's still not. There, there's one disc up there that's in birdie range, but running it is so crazy too because you hit low and you're in the sand. Like right? there's no, the disc can't get down quick enough. No, totally true. Uh, Drew, that shot right there is perfect and very stressful. Like I had, yeah. the, I had that place <laughs> a couple times during the tournament, and you're like, holy cow, it's so windy. I just don't want to have a 20 footer on this basket. Oh, oh, oh my god! Wow, that's fortunate. Oh, it sure wow. was. Uh, so it looks like Will has a putt if he wants to dip. Uh, here is Andy. He kind of looks like he's lining this up a little bit. Nah, he's playing smart. Gotta be so careful because yeah. you hit the base of the basket. I saw it. I saw Disco be every which way on this hole. Uh, it's almost like you have to concentrate like like a like it's a putt on your upshot. You know, like that hard. Yeah, yeah. You want it to just be like ten feet left of the basket. Yep. Uh, here's Will for a two. Yeah. Go for this. Oh no. And Man. that happens. Ugh. That's the worst. Didn't quite get the lift on it. He put the commitment to the power, but not to the height. I and mean, then it's just coming in way too fast. Yep. And there's Rick clean up a par. Drew had a funny line here about those logs under the basket. You can have a campfire afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Roast some marshmallows. Roast some marshmallows. <laughs> a blowfly or something like that. This green. I'm Never. Not... I'm not sure if I'm okay with this green. I mean, it's like a, it's a little too ridiculous. I it, think. Yeah, it is just because fun. like a great shot off the cage is just like going straight OB. Yeah, pretty silly. Uh, but Rick, Drew, and Andy played that one pretty smart. Took some pars. Uh, Will unfortunately dropped the the four. Uh, Rick's holding on to three strokes, and we're on to hole eleven, eight. This one is like a kind of a dog leg right, a two shot hole. Uh, you want to just kind of throw your drive. There's kind of two approaches. You can either go straight pretty far, or you can kind of throw a big ante and go out to the right and then kind of go through the other way. Yeah, uh-huh. that's a good looking guy. Yeah, who's that guy? <laughs> super, super, um, super handsome. Uh, but yeah, you can. Wow, I, I think this guy will probably crush it. Yeah. So bonus. he'll show us how to do it. No doubt. Your, your bonus footage, bonus footage is highly applicable right now, Ben. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was not even intentional. It's not always <laughs> relevant, but today it was. Look at that <laughs> shot! Holy cow! Oh, oh. I remember that shot. That's the best shot possible. Nice. That's, yeah, you're even into the wood chips. Yeah, yeah, into the woods, in the gap. Perfect shot. Love it. Jerry Roan. He won college nationals one year, correct? Right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I would say like maybe 2012. Yeah, I was I like mean, tw- twelve or, or thir- twelve or thirteen. I want to say. Out of the Colorado? Yep, out of Colorado. Yeah, and that was um, Josh something. Oh, uh, Castle. Josh Castle, yeah. yeah out Castle. of Fresno. Very oh. impressive player. Oh. Yeah, won the AM Masters Cup a few years back. In fact, I think the year before or after Peter McBride right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, Peter and Josh, both young guys. I mean, Josh is super young. The times I've played with him, I've been pretty impressed just 
more so with his uh-huh. attitude and just the way he handles himself than he than I mean his game is great, but uh-huh. lots of people have a great game. Yeah, Josh, By the way, this guy nails this shot. Really? He's like tapping. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny, man. It would be so hard to film golf like just right? in the style that you film disc golf. I think it'd be impossible to oh. track the ball. Right? Yeah. Uh, Josh actually goes to my alma mater, uh, Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's he's got a bright future if he wants to apply himself to disc golf. Who yeah. Knows, but... yeah, he's got a great temperament for golf. Really, just a really chill yeah. dude. Yeah. Um, back to our regularly scheduled action. We got Andy Parkinson. Nice. He found his way to the front of the box. He did. Yeah. That's an achievement on this cr- on hey, this card. That is no small yeah. feat at all, especially on a course like this. You know, big arms kind of kind of lends yeah, itself so to that. Cool. Absolutely. Uh, Drew throwing a Heiser flip. That didn't flip enough, did it, Nate? I don't think he's going to like that. Hold no. It. Yeah, way, left. way off left. The basket is way right, so way left off the tee, not great. Not awesome. Uh, Rick is getting more flip on his, but not quite enough either, actually. A lot, yeah. Are we doing a tailwind here, or is it people just shanking? I mean, when I threw conditions were perfect, I put it in the absolute garden spot, so... Yeah, you did mash it, so... I don't know what's going on with these guys. Yeah. Uh, Wills looks good. Uh, maybe too much turn. Is it going to work? Yeah, but if you turn it, like, either a little more than that is even better. Like, you know, then you can kind of cut that corner and go in the back door. Oh, okay. He didn't quite... See how it's all open there on the oh, right? Oh, yeah. Huh. So you can kind of either go for this alleyway that's, like, the designed straight shot in, or if you play, like, a really high turning shot, you can kind of find a back door window. Good shot from yeah. my, my boy Parky right there. Yeah. This is kind of crazy. Drew going forehand over the trees, going to drop it in. That's the attempt. It's definitely doable. Wow. Beautiful. Well, yeah, I parked it. Mm-hmm. I think he's got that butt. Yeah. Rick throwing an extreme hyzer here. Yep. And nice. there it is. <laughs> I like hyzers that drop into that dust. You can just see the little explosion. Yeah. Uh, Will weaving through some trees. Yeah, we'll be making that. There is Drew for the uh, birdie three. Out of babe. Man, these guys are all right there on the green. Yeah. Yeah. Is this for Star Frame right here? They all get this. It is. Yeah. Those are not great drives, but really good upshots. I mean, they weren't bad drives, but yeah, uh, pretty pretty incredible upshots. Mhm. Wildly different approaches too. Yeah. Good putt from Will. Let's see if Andy can keep this groove going. It's a great putter. That a bit nice. nice. And Rick with not much more than a drop in for him. It's the biggest danger for Rick right here is bouncing back out, not missing. Yeah, definitely. Even you see how it kind of hangs up in there. Yeah, it did, didn't it? A little bit. Now that's a mock X. Yeah, that is a mock X. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's different baskets on the front nine and the back nine on this course. It's uh, kind of strange. Gotcha. I believe that's our first star frame, guys, I want to say. Wow. Yeah, and that's a good hole for it. It was, yeah. A hole 12, Nate. What are we doing? A uh, huge hyzer off the tee. Uh, move as far left as you can. And then the second shot is another hyzer, a lot smaller one, with kind of some sand trap issues and some cart path issues. Kind okay. Of theme of this course cool so the real danger here comes on the second shot you just want to do a little bit of work yeah. on your drive here yeah and that's kind of the shot more than like a big high hyzer it's like a driven shot that moves and skips left okay cool that was a good throw nice good work from parky there oh this is the whole what's, what's and he says not bad for 130 pounds and drew said you've been saying that for like 10 years yeah <laughs> 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 uh, Looks like Drew might have gotten a little more turn on that than he wanted. Um, 130 pounds, that is... Yeah. Nice. Drew's like, yeah, right. And he says, no, I'm not bad for 160 pounds or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying Andy weighs 130 pounds or Drew weighs 130 pounds? Andy was claiming the lighter one, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drew came back with his own. <laughs> That's funny. Solid drive right there. And let's see what Will's got in store for us probably throwing far yes yes oh wow get left get left nope oh. drew and will had a uh, drew and will problems there uh, throwing it yeah definitely. T- too hard 
Need a disc up or hyzer up, one of the two there. This will be a little tricky from back here, but just kind of looks like it's going to come up just a bit short. Okay. Oh, can a roll. But he gets the roll. Yeah, he's putting. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was pretty friendly. Let's see if Drew can get a little bit closer. He's got a little bit easier line than Will, it looks like. Yeah. That's going to finish short left as well, though. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, that's okay. Wow. Mm. That's where you don't want to miss. Yeah, and he'll probably be behind that tree now, too. Yeah, Yeah, he's probably 50 feet away. Uh, looking at Parky's second shot. It's got a nice shape to it. It does. Look at that. All it. Yeah. Well done. Looking at Rick's second. Get up. Low, but get over there. Yeah. I think that's just a harp from Rick, or is he going up a little? It didn't look like a quick disc. Yeah, I think it if it was the fastest, he would have thrown it higher. So it might have been. Yeah. Uh, that was Drew uh, just laying up with his fourth. Going to be taking a bogey. Uh, here is Will for the birdie three. Ah. Uh, you got to want it, Nate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely do. Just yeah. got to get a little more on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Andy had the want on there, but just a little too much, it turns out. It looks like Ricky is about to get a stroke on the card right here in two on Drew. I don't know if it's... Oh! Dang. Wow. Oh. I, I counted that one as in a while ago. Yeah. And once Ricky, you, you usually can, and, not, and you're not wrong. Yeah, that must have just hit a little low right, just flipped the putter upside down and slid right over the rim. Yeah, it was wild. Uh, Andy cleans up, up the par. Will's going to do the same along with Ricky. And, uh... Drew, uh, fortunate, only losing a, a stroke to the card. Could have been worse. Yeah, yeah, they won't be happy with that. I feel this one is, uh, even though it's 728, I feel like the second shot is one of the shorter second shots out there. Yeah, for, yeah, it uh, seems like it. Uh, so if there, you throw your drive okay. Yeah, exactly. Which Will and uh, Drew did not do so much. Uh, but Ricky did not capitalize on the solid drive there. Uh, we're on to hole 13, Nate. Uh, par 4, 799. Yeah, this is like maybe the hardest hole or pretty close. Like I don't even I don't even pretend to try to birdie this hole. <laughs> no? So hard, yeah. It's like so far the basket is super precarious, right, between a trap and a and a path. Uh huh. Uh, trap is short, so if you don't quite throw it far enough, you're like right in it. Um, I'm super happy just this is just one of those holes where I just plan on getting a par and just execute that and get out of there that, that's sex and so, golf sex and golf wait i think we might be on to something here nate how often do you pretend to try to birdie holes <laughs> well <laughs> occasionally i have to because you know i'm supposed to be this big time pro I kind of, <laughs> you know, yeah of course i'm gonna birdie it and then i act like oh dang it i'm short wow but really i'm thinking oh, just give me a par Love like it. how many holes per round are you pulling out this whole act this whole, I would say maybe like two. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's a real thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sometimes you got to just be like, oh, man, I can't believe it. I didn't get 500 feet over the water. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I kind of flipped it over. Really, really, really. Yeah. Please flip. Threw nice. it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I accidentally <laughs> threw a perfect safe shot. Whoops. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, posturing out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got to keep your mental game up, keep them intimidated. So Totally. You yeah. gotta have them at least thinking you might birdie it. Yeah. Uh, and then we get back into the whole Rick strategy. Yes. Yeah. Leave the forty footer, yeah. make everybody else feel kind of incapable, and then yeah, it's working for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's missed a couple short ones, so maybe he should. Leave. You know, well, he keeps messing up and putting it inside forty feet. Yeah, exactly. He needs to execute <laughs> on that strategy. Oh, Drew with oh, the roller. This is a crazy play. Let's see what yeah. he's trying. Oh, that's cutting. It doesn't work. He goes to the other basket. That's not the basket oh, they're going, going to that you'll see. Oh, wow. That's different hole. <laughs> so yeah. that's an OB? That's, that's, or is that inbounds? No, just, just, no, I think it's inbounds. It's just way long. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure. I don't think that... I don't. I think those ropes are about, like, golf carts. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah I think you're yeah. right. Uh, Ricky with not a great shot either, right? Ricky's over in here, Drew, too, yeah. It's that basket on the right, right? That's where we're going? Yeah, it's the one on the right. Yeah. Why didn't Ricky throw a forehand? Uh, oh, it's like, it's so skinny. Like, like if you're not really close. For me, yeah. this hole is like, just, 
if my the the drive is kind of low ceiling, so you get it out there, and then I might throw a forehand, but my my play is to come up short of that sand trap because huh. to go for it, you really got to just be in the perfect spot to start to feel like okay, it's worth it now to to go for a three. That's yeah, true. It is sloped right into that that sand trap, and then say, there's the card OB too, right? Yeah, I would say probably for the tournament, I wouldn't be surprised if there were like five threes. Wow. On this hole. Mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, I don't know, but it's it's very very rare birdie. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a definitely a sketchy green. Uh, Ricky and uh, Drew taking pars though. Uh, Andy hoping to do the same right here. Well done. Nice. He had a really great uh, forehand upshot there. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Parky's got the total game. And there's uh, Will dropping in. Yep. Par star, like, like Nate said, no no yeah. shame in that nobody, one. Nobody tried for too much. I mean, maybe Drew kind of did with that roller, but it didn't work. So <laughs> he got away with his story. Yeah. I don't know what he was really hoping. Maybe he was hoping it was going to curl around the back of the sand trap. Yeah. I think that's probably what it was, right? Yeah. I mean, it would have been awesome if he had pulled it off. That would have been pretty totally. cool. Yep. All right, hole 14, we're going downhill, Nate. Yeah, downhill, and uh, again, right next to a trap, so it can be tricky. Mm -hmm. You can either kind of throw up a big a high backhand hyzer, or I, I prefer the forehand hyzer, as I often do. Uh huh. That's not bad. A yeah. uh, little bit of a uh, death putt. Oh, are you putting right at the uh, the car path? Uh, the sand, really. The There's not really oh, a okay. car path down. Gotcha. But he's got a little bit of sand to think about. Oh, Ricky... That sand right there. He's at the beach. Yeah. That almost looks like it might have hit the left side. We'll see where they spot him. Yeah. And Will throwing the backhand hyzer as well. I like the forehand just because it moves away from the sand. Sure. Yeah, you could definitely get a, in a pretty big skip if you land short on that fairway. You know, funnel right in there. Yeah. And Drew teeing off last. Also taking the backhand hyzer line. Uh, this is, you can see the wind strongly left to right, though, so that kind of actually favors the backhand because you put the forehand up in that wind, and once it starts to hyzer, it really lifts. Oh, sure. So see, they're having this discussion now. Oh, yeah. That they're saying Ricky jumped up, as I thought when we were watching from the tee, that he just skipped off the sand and just made contact with that far side. Yeah. Wow. That's really something It just cost him, like, 30 feet. Yeah, it did, right? That's, that's I think he plays them both. Oh, it is really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. What is that going to do for anybody? You kind of have to make the decision now, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can go look at the video later. Yeah, I don't understand. But so, maybe they're going to have some conversation about what. Well, now it doesn't matter. Now it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the Rick look. Now here is Drew with a scary putt, Nate. Yeah, absolutely. Into a headwind, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now watch oh, this no. one. Oh, my gosh. Rick, get out of the way. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh, he can't believe it. Yeah, that's not the best place to sit down. No. <laughs> oh, Andy. I'll sit. No. Sit. Oh, no, guys. Maybe all that sand just reminded him of sitting by the ocean. I guess so. He was doing some contemplation. Place to reflect. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, playing aggressive, running those shots into the headwind with the sand behind. Right? Not, sketchy, not, yeah. not the smartest of golf. Yeah, you get bit by a sand crab. Oh, Drew. Yeah. Is that the per double from Drew? I think it is. Had that, it had that look. Yep. It went, yeah. it went from two to five in a hurry. Now here's Andy to save a four. Good putt, dude. Is there this such a thing as per double face? Per double, per double <laughs> face. <laughs> Wait, so that's get... it. This hole's really eating them up. It is, isn't it? Uh, this is still this is for two though, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Brings a whole new meaning to coming to California for the sand. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of wind. Here. Oh up. no! Oh, oh. oh, I've done that. I did that at the Minnesota Majestic. Oh. That exact putt. Dang it! headwind comes up and you just think okay just want to put some speed on it and low and yeah it can be easy to have that happen especially you know he's got the sand to worry about as well and just watching a couple of people roll in there yep definitely in his but head he's still taking a stroke on the card even with that doink of a putt i think so right yeah i'm pretty sure that was for birdie 
Andy was running away as fast as possible. Yeah, it was. Yeah, there, that was for Parley. Oh, he called it. And, Ouch, yeah, that tough green, man, in that wind. Yep. And Drew did get that per double. That hurts, man. Uh, Rick holding on the lead, though, and we're on to hole 15, Nate. Yeah, this one is uh, OB all along the right, sand trap on the left. Um, can be just kind of like a straight mid range down the hill or like a forehand driver. Okay. You, you take the forehand line? You, yeah, I do. I, I throw like a Excalibur here. Nice. I just kind of rip it, rip it right at the sand trap, and try oh. to take a little skip. But that's a if I wow. if I felt good about that shot, that's what I would do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of Avery's Excals? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you know, you never know. He, yeah. He's a he's a he's a good supplier for me. Nice. How many discs do you think he has? Do you know? I don't know. I've never like been there and seen his stuff. Uh -huh. It's got to be. I would oh shoot a little out of bounds. I would say it has to be like five thousand. Damn. You know I don't know, but yeah. he's a he's a collector and he's been sponsored for so long. He's right. Been so many events. You know and I, you know I have a lot of discs, but I I wouldn't call myself a collector and he is a collector. Yeah. So then he's gonna he's buying discs and seeking discs uh -huh. in, uh, in addition to playing all these tournaments. And oh man, crazy. Yeah, it works out for you though. Yeah yeah it's great. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was Rick. I'm pretty sure that was a compass he threw. Got some really nice turn on it. And Drew didn't turn that over. Sure. And look, um, see? So now Rick's about to come back on Drew and be like, you hit the other side, but <laughs> He yeah. did, didn't he? <laughs> yep, no, they totally do discuss it after this. Do they really? He's not going to let that slide after the last one when Drew was like, no, 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 you, you hit the side over here. Rick's oh, definitely funny. forced him over there. Yep, there he is. Uh, that was Andy laying up for a, a boogie. Uh, here is Drew's uh, par attempt. I think Drew said he was going to miss it either way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Drew. Drew. But Drew would say that. Drew kills me. <laughs> Same thing happened to Rick last time. Missed it either way. That's true, huh? Yep. And we got to watch that. Didn't just say it. He did it. Mm. Yeah, know. the wind. I mean, putting oh. is just so tough in that, in that strong wind. It's so it, difficult. Yeah. Do you notice any difference being close to the ocean? <laughs> you mean wind-wise? Yeah, I guess in kind of like the texture of the air. You know, there's a little uh, bit of like salt water to it. Yeah, I don't know if I've noticed that. I just know I definitely noticed that it gets cold there. You know, like that yeah. wind would be would be pretty cold a lot of times at this event. Ooh. No. <laughs> what was that? Oh, <laughs> dipsy do. Yeah. <laughs> the dipsy drew. That's, yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Drew is a hundred percent ham. He's, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, there is Will with the, the birdie there, the park job, getting a stroke on the card too on Drew and Andy. Uh, that was a great drive. That wasn't it. That was that was beautiful. Exactly uh, what you need in the windy conditions. It's such a huge weight off your shoulders to just be like three feet away. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, upshots and drives are even more important. Uh, we're looking at hole this sixteen, one, Nate. Yeah, just huge hyzer. This okay. is kind of this is a new basket position for this year. And it's just like it's kind of tough. It's hard to say like where the guardian trees really are from the tee. You can't really see the line. Yeah. Just kind of chuck a big hyzer and try to get in there. Uh huh. Poke and pray. There's a lot of this where you walk out there and go, "Where's the basket?" <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> kind of like remember what the line is. But yeah. Sure. It just ends up being a pretty full rip. Yeah. That looks like Will hit a tree, came up short. Uh, Ricky did not. Nice. That was well done. There's that OB coming come into play, it looks like. With that car path. Hopefully you don't skip over there anyway. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can go in there. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Parky came up a little bit short, but he's button. Yeah. And Drew Gibson, I'm going to make it throw a hyzer there. It's this guy. Yeah, 426 is a long way when you got to go that wide. Yeah. Uh... I got nothing. Do you see it? I never uh, saw it. It's yeah. probably pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Andy. Tickle, tickle, no love. Yeah. So, uh, Will, for his two, going to be taking a three. Uh, here's where Drew oh, finished. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. Oh, something made him reset. Yep. Yeah. I made a good putt. That's 
a good feeling when you step off of a putt and then come back and make it. Yeah. It kind of puts a weird extra pressure on you when it's like, whoa, I got this. You have to kind of admit I got distracted. <laughs> I got to come back. You know, it's it's a weird thing. It is, yeah. I refocus entirely. Ooh. Ricky, a little basket. Yeah, a little amp side, but it caught it. Good mock X. Those things are funny though. If you hit to the side, they they'll they'll kick you right out if you're if you're too yeah, high. Yeah, chains are heavy. Yeah, they are. A lot of chains. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Parky and Will. Uh, That's a pretty well played hole though. Two birdies. Yeah. For a 426 foot hyzer, it's no joke. And then do you say we're coming into the toughest hole right here? These last two holes are so hard. I mean, I don't know. I think that one earlier that I said I never tried a birdie might be harder. Uh huh. But, um, yeah, man, it's close though. Honestly, this one might be just as hard. These these last two holes are unbelievably tough and so windy, so far, and so many sand traps. Wow. So there's a big old dog like right off the tee here. Trouble. Bad and trouble. Rick oh. catches the guardian and his ob. Oh that wow. Very poor shot. That's that's gonna be tough because he probably went out of bounds really really early. Yeah. Huh. Are you going roller here or just big sky Annie Nate? Annie. Annie. Or, or maybe even forehand. So oh, okay. On the, the best shot is a big Annie. Drew catches a sharp cut roll here, but he's safe, just kind of off to the left. Okay. Not bad. Now, spoiler alert, this is a butte you're about to watch right here. About as good as I've seen this one thrown. I like watching those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Ooh, even get a little air pounce. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's crazy good. Damn. <laughs> like, holy smokes. Will does crazy stuff from time to time. But you, we'll see. Once he gets up there, it's he's still less than 50% odds to birdie the hole, wow. even from there. <laughs> really? Say. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a, that's the same mistake Rick made. Yeah, he, I think like Andy tried to cut the corner. They, yeah, they both only get about 50 feet off the tee. Oh, maybe. oh they're way back here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. No drop zone. Oh, at that corner, you only barely move up. Oh, it looks like a pretty good recovery. It did, yeah. Yeah, but I think he ends up going OB on the cart path. Oh, he turned it too much? Yeah. Brutal. And then this. No, oh, he hit the tree again? Oh, no. Yeah, this hole just becomes a nightmare real quick. Oh, Andy. Yeah, that's a terrible start to a very hard hole to still be sitting next to the tee pad. Yeah. Throwing Shoot. what now? Five. Four? Yeah. Five. Shoot. Five here, yeah. Oh, no. What? It's the tree again. But did it get back in? Makes it in bounds, yeah. Okay. Oh, but next shot will be, yeah, six. For six or seven, six, yeah. Six, yeah. Well, I'm not sure he did, he did stay in, didn't he? Okay. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh. oh no, Andy. Oh buddy. Oof. You gotta get an overstable disc and just. Oh, and this ended up being the most painful discussion after the hole too, because everybody was kind of unsure on the score. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. And it's like it wasn't the well, you'll you'll see when it gets to it, but. You're debating between two pretty big numbers. It must have been painful. Oh, yeah, man. This is a whole, I mean, it's tough. It's like you always want to, like, bite off that little bit more. But, you know, like this is a hole that par is, like, the best you're going to do yeah. if you don't have a huge arm and it's really heavily windy. So my strategy just ends up being, like, overstable disc, just kind of make progress every shot. Oh, oh shoot, that's, that's going to sand. And Rick was throwing five, so he's going to be throwing seven now. Holy cow. Wow. Uh, Drew's throwing two. We haven't set a, a number that low in a while. Yeah. <laughs> take me back to Sesame Street already. Uh, yeah. And Drew will take, and that's an up and down four, which I'm sure Drew will take all day on this hole. Yeah, he can't really run that putt, probably, so he's just going to put it close. Yeah, and it looks like but Andy... These, these last two holes, like I said, are so windy. Yeah, you can see it whipping out there, huh? The banners. Uh, that was Andy with an 8. So, should we get a 9 or a 10? Uh, but Will, after the best drive in history, look how much he's still got left to do. Yeah. And you got to pinpoint it on the top of that hill, Ooh. too. Wow. Stop, stop, stop. That's it. And he that was almost threw it in. He might, he might stick that birdie. Yeah, he might, huh? Yeah. He even almost got that eagle, which would have been probably the only one ever. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, it's a, it's like a birdie and a half just getting a three on this. Yep. Here's Andy for the nine. Let me take it a ten. It looks like hopefully well, I might be off by That's one. That's about right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, here is Will for a miraculous three. 
but a, but a death putt. Yeah, into the sand. Wow. There you go. He, really well played hole. He had made up a lot of strokes on people right there. <laughs> yeah. Way too many, really. Yeah. And a good good hole by Drew as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a huh? save four. And is that an? I want to say it's an eight for Rick. It's something we'll like see that. in a second. They were big numbers. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. That's a wild hole, Nate. Yeah, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Oh, a nine for Rick and an eleven for Andy. Wow. Oh man, never forget. Ooh. Man. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. It's the day disc golf died right there. Oh, man. Yeah. So this hole's got kind of a similar shape. Yeah. Um, you're just throwing a, a big turn shot off the tee. It seems like it's always like a 45-mile-an-hour headwind whenever you get to this hole. Uh-huh. So it's hard to get any uh, any real distance. Not really 45, but a lot. Yeah. Um, and then, it, then the second shot is like uphill over like... 10 or 15 sand traps it feels like I don't know there's probably actually like 4 but there's so much sand in between you and the basket oh you can see right there um, solid That's second cam work right there by your guy Nate or sorry Ben oh yeah Travis yeah thank you Travis yeah Travis yep. this is an aggressive line right here it is it doesn't look like it's going to stay turned over though oh whoa yeah Bo- watch the action on this one boomerang and caught it <laughs> This straight stalled out in a major way. Uh, Rick looking to come back from that niner niner. That looks good. Yeah. It's a good shot. Yeah. But look at the basket. It's so it's, it's par- over so much sand. It's so far up there. Par four? Man. Yeah, isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah, that is wild. It could absolutely just be. You could change it to a five and it would be fine. Yeah, it's nobody that, would. It's that hard. Nobody would eagle it, even though it was a par five. There's, there were probably a couple threes on it. Uh-huh. It's it's an amazing feat. Uh, Drew's... Same thing as shoe trick on the previous Well, you got to throw two perfect shots. Yeah. Yeah. That's OB from Drew. Oh. Uh, yeah, that one turned over in the headwind. Actually, left to right. Looks like that, that Annie got caught in the left to right. There's Andy. And he ends up low left. Yeah, he's in the middle yeah, of the fairway, though. The middle. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! Is that gonna come back? Yeah. It looks like it's oh. flying. Oh! Oh my oh, god! Oh wow! Oh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> not not oh, a stuff there. that could have gone wrong. Yeah. Wow! It should Didn't... be a pretty easy up and down from there. Yeah. Yeah. Rick. Oh, did he come out of the beach or just in? No. I think he skipped left. Oh no, he's in it. Yeah, he's in. There's it. hardly any good area like in that last. 150 feet. Yeah. You kind of either have to like get all the way up there or be short of it. Over on the right by the trees are kind of okay, but not a lot of safe land there. Not at all. Uh, there is Drew throwing four. That's pretty short. Yeah. He's going to be taking a six most likely. Uh, here is Will with his third shot. Is he checking out the, trying to the sand traps? a good score at this point. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, so this actually oh. would have put Will on the lead card, but he ended up having a scoring error. Oh, no. Oh, no. In fact, there were two scoring errors on this card what? alone. Ricky, Ricky had one, too. What? Wow. People. Yeah. <laughs> now, Ricky's, I guess, maybe a little more understandable. He's probably pretty flustered after 17. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, you know, there's still no excuse, honestly. Yeah, you're professional. Well, and we're not professional Maybe scorekeepers, mathematicians. I guess that's true. It's part of it. It's part of it. You know? It's part of it, though. Yeah. They're definitely regretting that mistake for sure. Yeah. That's tough. Tough to swallow. Yep. Okay. Here's Will for a good four. Will did cap off here a pretty fine round, going birdie par on those last two. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredibly good on those last two seven strokes through there. Just look at the wind whipping too. Yeah. It's yeah. The afternoon at the beach it picks up. <laughs> There's Andy, I believe, with a five, and uh, Drew with a six. The artful so, un- finger roll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> An uncharacteristic less than stellar round from Ricky. Yeah. Um, he's got quite a bit of fighting to do. Wow. If he wants even. to get back into this. Yeah. Dang. 
And Drew at plus one, you know, he's no slouch himself. Uh huh. Yeah. And Will, Will five right mix. I mean, a lot can happen. Yeah. That, that course is pretty beast, Nate. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of the hardest we play. Wow. So you wouldn't call it soft? I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> dare. <laughs> Couldn't I, call, I call them like I see them. Nice. <laughs> I respect that. There's Mr. Ben Baker. All right, guys. That is all we got for round one. Uh, we got round. There's three rounds in this one. Is that right? Uh, three rounds, yeah. Three rounds, cool. And I believe we're going to have... Nate. All the same pin positions each round. Okay, cool. Yeah. That makes it nice. Um, Nate, I think we're going to have you back on if you got some time. Yeah, man, I'll be there. Cool, cool. Yep. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching, dudes, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.